I'm Steve Ruiz, founder of TealDraw, based here in London. Let me give you a quick intro on TealDraw. It's a hackable whiteboard SDK. You can try us out, like the app, at tealdraw.com. If you want to learn more about the SDK, then you can do that at tealdraw.dev. You might have seen some of our earlier work with uh, language models and, and TealDraw together. There was Make Real. This was an app that allowed you to collaborate with a LLM on a canvas to create like working prototypes based on your diagrams. You might have also seen Draw Fast, where we were playing with like latent diffusion models to interpret your drawing as fast as we possibly could. And then there was a real-time version of that called Blends as well. These days, we've been experimenting with getting the language model to kind of work with us as a collaborator on the canvas. It's a bit like uh, Diagrams Genius from like a couple of months ago, or maybe it was like last year, but for real this time. Anyway, I'm going to pass it over to Lou to show you more about how we've been building AI-powered autocomplete uh, on the canvas in, in TealDraw. So take it away, Lou. Hello, I'm Lou from TealDraw, and I want to show you something I've been working on called Autocomplete for Canvas. Now, I guess we're usually used to seeing autocomplete in text-based editors like you know VS Code and that sort of thing. I want to see if we can do it on the canvas as well. I want to see like what UX we need to build to make that happen and what technologies we need to work on. So as you can see, I've just got one rectangle on the screen, but whenever I do something to it, I get some suggestions. I can accept those suggestions by pressing tab, right? And then I, and then I get some more suggestions and so on. I mean, this is quite a simple case. The AI doesn't have like quite like it doesn't have a lot to go off of, you know, like it, it doesn't, it finds it hard to like infer what you're trying to do because we haven't given it very much, but it, it does a pretty good job. Um, and what I can do is I can configure this. So currently I've asked it to show me rectangles, but I can ask it to suggest text to me and then it will suggest, you know, other kinds of things, right? <laughs> like hello or world, right? And, and so on. And I can actually turn on vision capabilities as well. And that will give me a different kind of response as well. I'll, I'll turn rectangles back on as well. Right, it doesn't make too much difference here because it is such a simple thing. In fact, it looks yeah, it looks like it's sometimes making a little difference, but we'll get to that later. So I found that this is quite good for doing like your own custom UI, right? Like it's quite good if you give it some fields to fill in, then most of the time it will it will try to do that. Um, and what I like about this, what I found, is that you can kind of have this back and forth interaction between you and the autocompleter, right? So here, like the, the width of the first field is affecting the next one. And, you know, it's not always doing a good job. Like, I don't really want, to, want it to cut off this, uh, these words, but at least I can sort of have some control over it. There's a bit of back and forth going on. Um, and like, I think, this is, I think this is kind of a fun way to get it get an AI or like to interact with an AI to get it to give you what you want by sort of crafting this UI for it. So it's it's coming up with a bio for me. Like I could put I could put my own name in here and it will maybe try to come up with a bio for me. Great. And like I can specify I, I can specify like a different kind of title or I could say like my my skills, right? Like um let's say AI prompting, right? Uh, oh, and I want to clarify, this is third person bio, right? Cool. It's overflowing the text. Uh, I, I found this is a, a challenge. I'm, I'm trying to fix that right now. And I, and I want to make it clear that this is, this is not just like text generation, right? This is working spatially. So in this save slot UI that I've imagined here, it instinctively wants to like add extra slots below, but I can I can influence that and make it go in another another direction, and I and I can even like um, indicate to it that it has rows, and it doesn't always get it right, but like <laughs> with with a little bit of wiggling around and around and a few tries, then it usually gets there. So this is this is spatial. I can, I can build my own spreadsheets with it. This is what I found. If you want it to generate certain things then build, build something for it, build, build a UI for it. That's what I recommend. Um, so look, here I'm just like converting numbers into hex codes, but um, you can change this to 
like more interesting stuff too. Um, this is this is what I found worked pretty well. Fancy name for color, um, and then I can change these and get other things for them, or like initial for color. I I I don't know. This 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 feels this feels this feels like a good direction to investigate. Is my advice to you? Um, UI generation. I I think I think there's some potential here. Maybe. Um, like here, here it's it's giving me more blocks. But I, I like below the page. If I ask it to only give me text, then it's going to give me something slightly different. So I think there's a lot to explore about like what constraints to place on this. Um, I want to highlight to you that this so far this hasn't been using vision models. So if I try if I try to get it to understand my drawing, then it's not going to do a very good job. Like it thinks my smiley face is a flower. That's completely wrong. So if I turn on vision capabilities, then it then it does a much better job, right? Um, it's it's successfully named my drawing. Like I could even change this to a sad face. Let's see. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, it's yes, <laughs> sad face. Got there in the end. Um, one thing I found is that you can ask it to like rate your draw your drawing out of five. What does it think? Oh, it's given my drawing one star out of five for a sad face. And I can ask it to make a comment on it as well. Critics comment. Let's see. Disappointing. Oh no. Um, I'm going to change this to five. Please give me a nice comment. Brilliant. That's much better. This drawing effectively conveys a sense of sadness and melody. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, AI. Anyway, that's it. Um, this is very new. There's lots of things it does well. There's lots of things it does badly. I'm trying to figure out what those are and how to fix them. Um, so if you, if you have ever worked on something, something like this, or you have any ideas or thoughts or whatever, please contact, it, contact me. I would love to speak to you and, and, and learn more and, and build this together. Thanks.